Hello, this is Scott. Uh, I just finished watching the movie Prey. Uh, before I talk about it, um, in my announcement video, uh, I said, you know, something happened to me, and I haven't, and I wasn't going to make videos for a while. And I think enough time passed. I feel a, a bit better now. Uh, I do have. I do have a funeral tomorrow, so I'm gonna make this video now. Dad, Dad and I sat down and watched *Pray* together on Hulu, so I just want to get this out there. Uh, but yeah, I have a funeral tomorrow, so that's gonna suck. Uh, anyways, I know I don't want—I don't want to bring you guys down or. You know, I don't want you guys thinking about that stuff. So, I'll, I'll start with the movie. Um, so I finished watching Prey. Uh, this girl here, I think her name's Nepu? Or Naru? Naru. I want to say Naru. So, Naru here is the main character. Uh, she's on every poster. She's, you know, everywhere. And this movie is really good. Um, I know in my last movies videos I went on this huge rant on bad movies and bad writing and all that. Uh, this movie here Prey Prey 2022 I think there's other movies called Prey so Prey 2022. Uh, I recommend it to everyone. And normally I go on a huge rant about editing or camera tricks and stuff like that. But I don't have any rants ready to go. Uh, this this movie, no no complaints at all, really. Uh, yeah, I can't really think of a single complaint. And even if I did. I, I still recommend, I highly recommend this movie. Uh, I want to show you a few pictures that I just found quickly. Uh, I actually found pictures of the movie online, which is new. Every time I make one of these videos, I have to find a picture that's not in the movie. But this time they actually have, this time they actually have the pictures I'm looking for. So that's pretty new. I'm not used to that. So I'm going to show you three pictures. And if that doesn't s sell you on the movie, I don't know. It. So here's the second one. Let me fix it. Trying to fix it. It is a monster movie. Oh, come on. It is a monster movie. Uh, but it's just so enjoyable. That I think anybody can like it. So here's the monster. Uh, I think it's on the trailers. So it's not really a spoiler. It looks really good. Uh, he's actually wearing a helmet that bone part is actually a helmet. Uh, I'm not sure how you put he, you know the monsters the, the predators are in a lot of movies and they have these high tech gear. I don't know how you put high tech gear in a helmet like that but it's something I'm not you know too worried about. Um, but yeah it's just a like an hour long action movie and I think in the beginning I was kind of bored because they had to like go through all the characters and all that stuff which is never interesting you know I never really liked the intro introduction to movies because they're just going through the characters going through the motions but once you get past like the 10 minutes it's pretty fun um, there's no real bad there's no real bad parts of the movie that I, that I can think of. 
And it's just a fun movie, all in all. It's just people getting attacked by a monster and they're trying to figure it out. You know, the Predator guy, if, if, you, if you guys are familiar with Predator, you should know it's, you know, what he does and all that. He just uh, fights people with all these weapons. And from what I understand, they either they, they fight these people for either glory or for fun. So, it, it's pretty interesting. It's interesting to see that he's kind of going easy on these people. It's pretty clear from the start that he could win any fight, but he goes easy on them to make it more interesting. He like handicaps himself so the fights are fair. So he still one shots everybody because he's a predator. But it's still an interesting idea. I'll show you one more picture. Um, I don't have a lot to talk about because it really is just an hour long like fight scene that I really enjoyed. And it's very true to history. They show the French, which I I keep forgetting that the French were in in America for a while. Uh, it takes place in the 1700s, where the French actually had a pretty good chunk of land for a while before they decided to get, you know sell it back. But they the French did pretty well for a while. I don't know the, the exact history of of that. But it seems pretty accurate. Everything everything in this movie seems pretty accurate. Besides, uh, you know, the monster. So I'll show you one more uh, uh, picture. Do, do, do. And if this doesn't do it for you, I don't know. It's not a scary movie. I, I just finished watching it a minute ago. It doesn't, it doesn't even try to scare you. It really doesn't. So I think this is a movie where like, I don't know, like 14 year olds and higher can watch. There's nothing too crazy in it. But I'm kind of, after wa watching Ho Warhammer and reading Warhammer, I'm kind of numb to scary stuff. Like I'm pretty numb to it. Um, so yeah, this is the final image. This is uh, one of the Komochi, I think they're called. Komochi Indians uh, fighting the Predator. And it's just, it just looks really good. Uh, I don't think this exact... it Something in, in the movie happens, but it's not exactly this. I think he had a spear or something. The Komochi had a spear. So this exact thing doesn't happen, but he, he had a spear. I think he had a spear instead of the axe. But this does. It's pretty similar. Anyways, long story short, um, really good. Really highly recommend it. It's a lot better than I thought it'd be. You know. The trailer, y it's hard to tell what the story is, and the story is just them fighting this guy, and that's really it. But that was enough for me to watch it. Um, so yeah, I, I highly recommend it. Speaking of scary stuff, I kind of want to talk about Halloween for a bit. If I understand, the Halloween movies are... The Halloween movies are really hated by the fans right now. Um, probably not the hardcore fans because they just accept anything. But the Halloween movies are doing pretty bad from what I understand. They try to be creative with the monster and it's kind of backfiring. In Prey, the Predator shows up at like the 40 minute mark and he's just always there and the movie's like an hour and a half long so that's like an hour no that's like 50, 50 minutes 
the the predator is in the movie for like 50 minutes. And if I understand, uh, in the Halloween movies, Michael Myers is only in the movie for like maybe 10. So, you know, if you guys if you guys didn't enjoy the Halloween movie, uh, Prey is a pretty good substitute. So yeah, I know. Oh yeah, one more thing I want to talk about. Uh, so I know not all my videos do well, and I've been getting some backlashes on some of them, especially my the Digimon video I made got a lot of backlash for some reason. Uh, even though I've been really enjoying it. Uh, anyways, so, uh, what was my point? Oh, right, right. So, I know some of you guys disagree with me on movies, and I get that. You know, me talking trash about Marvel. That's, you know, it makes sense. Um, but if you want to see what I think is a good movie, you know, this is this is a movie I can recommend to anyone. Prey, 2022. And it, it should be, it really should be the standard of movies. It should be the standard of movies. It's constant action. It's got great characters. And it's just, it's a beautiful movie. This is well made, and it sh really should be just be the standard of movies. It's really good. I recommend it to. I know. I know. I said it a lot, but I'll say it again. I recommend it to anyone. And I think that about covers it. Um. You know, there are traps in the movie. There's, you know, action, and there's some animal fights in there. It's all really interesting. There's some hunting in it. So, I'm not going to go frame by frame and talk about it. But if if you see this picture and are interested, it's on Hulu right now. And Hulu is also where Digimon's at. So, that's like a two for one. So, and Trigun too. I really enjoy Trigun. So, if, if you want like a treasure trove of stuff. There you, there you go. Now, Hulu doesn't have a lot of good stuff, but these three things are all hitters. They're all great. And I recommend them highly. I don't think I would recommend Trigun to everyone, but I think I'd recommend Prey and Digimon to anyone. They're very... I really do think they should be the standard. Um... They're just solid movies with no real flaws. And Digimon doesn't really have any flaws that I've seen so far. And I'm like 100 episodes in. I haven't seen any real flaws in it. So, uh, yeah, I, I said there wasn't going to be a rant in this one. And I think I'll, st I'll stop the video before I get too lengthy. Uh... Yeah, so I got I got a thing tomorrow, uh the funeral. I got a it's it's mom's funeral. That way you guys don't ask me later. It's you know, it's mom's funeral. So I had to, I had to go to that tomorrow. Um uh, and yeah. Just uh you know, if, if you guys are looking for fun Praise, praise fun.